safety rooms, unfortunately, expect to treat people tomorrow for heart issues and slips and falls. Some key safety tips now to avoid becoming one of those statistics because we're all out of practice at snow removal. From a snowless winter to inches of heavy, wet snow in some areas, doctors are concerned about what they may see tomorrow. I think that we've had so little snow this year that people are going to all of a sudden with wild abandon think, gee, we need to get out there. We need to make certain we clear the walkways. We need to make sure we clear the driveways. Dr. Michael Redler warns not so fast. Shoveling wet, dense snow after a less than physically active winter can be a recipe for danger, even death. The doctor says don't lift shovels full of snow at once. That doing it in layers, taking breaks is a good idea to clear the way and get on with the rest of our day. It can be dangerous, and so you've got to listen to your body. And Dr. Redler says stay hydrated. You may not realize how much you are sweating in the cold. And know the danger signs before you get into trouble. You've got to make certain that you're not getting short of breath. Make certain that you're not getting chest pain. Make certain that you're not getting dizzy. And beyond heart and joint injuries, Dr. Redler treats a lot of slip and fall accidents during snowstorms. Falls that can injure wrists, hips, elbows, ankles, all very, very common. The American Heart Association's guidelines say if you feel chest pain or pressure, lightheadedness or heart palpitations, stop the activity immediately. If your symptoms don't go away shortly after, then call 911. Lisa Carver.